could this actually be the official end of Uber and Lyft? Could these apps be fizzling out? Drivers are upset, writers are upset, executives are leaving the companies. We're gonna talk about that possibility today. So please thumbs up the video if you think drivers deserve more pay. I wanna hear from you in the comment section below. I wanna thank our sponsor of today's video, Play Octopus, T-Mobile. T-Mobile uh, has just bought out this company, Play Octopus, and they're paying Uber and Lyft drivers hundreds of dollars per month to get this installed in their car and also to refer new people. So get this installed in your car and that you'll get, they say full-time drivers earn around $100 per month. And also once you get it in, you can start referring other people too and they'll pay you money, tons of money to do it. Basically your passengers play games in it. I'll have a link below. Get signed up and start making extra money because gas prices are, are and inflation are crazy and Joe Biden is, I'm not getting into politics. <laughs> So this article just came out and it said, um, this was just shared on msn.com and on Lifehacker. Very interesting article. It says, this is why you should take a taxi instead of rideshare. Basically, you know, assuming that you should start phasing out of using rideshare and taxi services again. When you need a ride, are you sure you know what is the best, cheapest option? Should you open up one of your rideshare apps or are you better off going old school and hopping in a taxi cab? This, you know, article is exploring the option that because, you know, uh, rideshare rides are so expensive now and usually most of your money goes to the app and not to the driver, that taxi cabs are, could potentially be a better option. Listen to this. After all, the rideshare app's pricing formulas are intentionally fluid, but you'll have you'll also have no idea what the cost of your tax ride will be until you've already reached your destination. That's also very interesting. Opaqueness aside, there is a small dearth of information available that you can use to read the tea leaves to figure out which option is better in a particular situation. To do so, let's start a look at the average price of a cab versus rideshare in the country's largest city. So in a taxi cab, the initial fare is two bucks and 50 cents and distance is 50 cents per mile and time fee is 50 cents per mile. But as we know, most taxi drivers get paid a bulk of that income, my friends. And usually they're just paying to rent the car, right? That's how taxi cabs, I believe, work. Um, but yeah, people are saying that potentially you could, s passengers are going to be saving money using taxi cabs. And... Listen to this, Uber charges the passenger $1.87. Initial fare, 85 cents a mile. Um, and what does that go to the driver? I believe drivers in some areas are only making 50 cents per mile. Um, there are a few instances when using a rideshare app can be cheaper. They're basically saying there's only a couple of instances when a, ta when a rideshare app would be cheaper. The first is when you're traveling um, is when you're doing Uber pool. If you're, the only time, basically Uber X share, you can save up to 20% off your total fare while being guaranteed. No more than eight minutes will be added to your total trip time. This discount can bring your total fare under the cost of a cab ride with pretty minimal inconvenience in the right set of circumstances. This choice is a no brainer. So I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I know drivers just are going on strike now with the 4th of July. I know a lot of drivers are upset with pay. I want to hear from you. Do you think Uber and Lyft are doing enough right now? Talk to you soon. Oh yeah, and make sure to sign up for Play Octopus down below. You can start earning some serious income with Play Octopus T-Mobile tablet. You get signed up in three minutes. Check the link below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.